Hey guys, this is Gaijin Hunter. Just a quick note, I did two videos last time, one for the Lance and Gun Lance and one for the Gun Lance and the Lance, and they're both very different videos. It was kind of a joke, hope you guys enjoyed it. Basically, I love both weapons, but in the Lance video, I covered the Lance properly, and then I badmouthed the Gun Lance, and the Gun Lance, I did the opposite. Just kind of a fun joke, because Lance and Gun Lance players generally don't use both weapons, um, although that's not always the case. Anyways, make sure you watch both videos if you missed them. But today, we have the Axes. Okay, let's start out with one of my favorite weapons, which is the Switch Axe, or in Japan as we call it, the Slash Axe. The first thing here, they're just showing off that you can use the Slinger with your weapon out. I think they're taking the time to show it off for these heavier weapons because they're so much harder to put them away, use the Slinger, and then bring them out again. So it is really cool. And here they're just showing the Switch Axe using the Clutch Claw and a normal attack, which will tenderize a part of the monster. They're showing this because I think there is another type of Clutch Claw combo that you can do with this weapon, which we'll be covering in just a second. Okay, this is going to take some unpacking because they're actually showing us two brand new things. One, with the switch axe, if you want to do the strong shot with the slinger, it's done after certain axe attacks. Not for the sword mode, but for the axe. So we see him do an attack, hit the strong slinger, then we see them doing the chop combo. And they've added in a new finisher which looks absolutely bonkers. So you will have to swing it probably two or three times in order to get enough momentum to do this awesome finisher. But once you land this attack, what it does is it puts you in an amped axe state. So for a limited period of time, all your axe attacks will get extra stagger values. This is really good. I'm not sure if it's just stagger or if it's going to help you break parts. But either way, it is a huge buff for the axe mode, which it really needed. Okay, in this next one, they're showing off two new things as well. First, when you're in the middle of an elemental discharge combo, you're able to switch over and do a special claw attack, which actually uses the power of your files, and more likely than not will put you in an amped state. If you are in an amped state when you clutch onto a monster, you're able to now do the zero sum discharge. This really allows you to get close to the monster and do a bunch of damage to a specific part of the body of the monster all in one shot. Okay, now moving over to everybody's favorite beat stick and ultimate utility knife, the Charge Blade, or as we call it in Japan, the Charge Axe. Just like Switch Axe, they're showing off that you can use your Slinger with your weapon out, which is good for a heavy weapon. And here they're showing that you can use the Clutch Attack and do a really cool looking morph attack in the middle of the Clutch. This of course will tenderize the part that you hit. And here they're showing that you can do this strong shot with the Slinger after you get hit and you're in the middle of a guard reaction if you're in sword mode. If you are in axe mode, you are able to do the strong shot after certain attacks. So definitely shifting it up so it's going to be a little bit more technical. You're not just going to be able to hit the slinger shot whenever you want. But this also does promote uh, guard point play, which is really good for the weapon. And this is pretty awesome. As long as you have one file or more, you can cancel out of the super and do this special new axe slash. And what this does is it powers up your axe for a limited period of time. While your axe is powered up, each of your attacks will do more hits than normal, which is awesome. And if you use the elemental bin, what it does is it increases your elemental damage and the duration of the buff is much longer. If you use an impact file type, it'll increase your physical damage and the duration is much shorter. Through a period of time, as you're in the axe powered state, your files will sort of naturally deplete. So it does mean that you are going to have to strategically go back into blade mode and charge up some files so you don't lose this awesome buff. And now my thoughts. I absolutely love the changes to Switch Axe. That new motion right here where he does that slam is awesome. I was very happy when we had the Tempest Axe buff in Monster Energy Generations Ultimate. And it was good because people sort of use the sword mode over and over again and don't touch the axe as much. So this will definitely promote much more balanced gameplay between the two different modes of the weapon. And the ability now to do the special clutch thing in the middle of a discharge and the zero sum while you're clutched as well will only more encourage people to check out the axe mode and not just slash away with the sword mode. The charge blade also got some revisions which really help balance out the weapon and don't decrease its power. If anything, it just makes it even more powerful, which just seems to be a joke at this point that Capcom just want to keep making this weapon better and better. Uh, I love the fact that the duration of the charged axe state is longer for elemental files because those really needed a buff to compete with impact. And I'm happy that the impact files, what they do is they increase your physical power and not your KO power. And this sort of pushes the charge blade away from the hammer. And honestly just makes the charge blade a very technical, very powerful, but very well balanced weapon. Anyways, those are my thoughts. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry I was a day late because I was out with the family. And we should have two more videos dropping today from Capcom, so I'll probably publish one more video after this just today. So make sure you check out my feed and make sure you didn't miss anything. Till next time, happy hunting.